go, Joe. No, Joe. Mojo. Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Rob. Rob and I started a company called Bucket with the mission to create smart, sustainable products that are designed and manufactured responsibly. And our first product is this, the Portland Press. It's a French press made out of a mason jar. It's made of wood, glass, wool, and steel. We've designed a product that is built to last, and we're telling its entire story. The lid is made of Eastern hard rock maple, grown in the US and every Portland press comes with a cozy made of organ wool to keep your coffee hot. We use the common mason jar as a container because anyone who's used a French press before knows that they can break easily. With a thicker mason jar, it'll be harder to break. And if it does break, you can just replace it with another mason jar. We're working hard to make a product that's transparently made. And the best way for us to do that is to utilize the skilled tradespeople right here in the Pacific Northwest. The woodcrafters at BNL Wood Creations out of Hillsboro are building the lids. They're a huge facility that's been providing quality woodworking to the Portland area for over 30 years. Creekside Fiber Mill in Lebanon, Oregon is felting wool from Puddle Duck Farm in Brownsville, just south of Salem. And we're sending all the felt to the artisans at Spooltown in Portland to cut and sew them into cozies. One of the parts in the filter mechanism is made by custom stamping and manufacturing. This facility is family owned and has been in Southeast Portland for over 50 years. And once all the parts have been made, we're sending them to Tualatin Valley Workshop to be assembled by the production department. The purpose of this project is twofold. To design a better product that costs less in the long run, and to understand where and how it was made. We call it a responsibly made consumer product. And to show how serious we are about the idea of responsibly made, every bucket product is backed by a full lifetime warranty, including the Portland Press. If it breaks, we'll replace it for you. We hope you'll join us in this growing movement of people who are demanding more from their everyday stuff. A product's life doesn't start on the shelf, and it doesn't have to end in a trash pile. The Portland Press is just the first of many responsibly made products that we're designing here at Bucket. If you like what Bucket is about, and you're excited about the Portland Press, please show your support by contributing to our Kickstarter campaign. And thanks a lot for watching this video. Do you like a tasteful cup of coffee? We do. That's why we are so passionate about grinding right before brewing, because pre-ground coffee loses many flavors and aromas. And you know, a good cup of coffee is all about flavor. We call it the Cross Grind Columbia, our new coffee grinder. It is ready and the prototype is working perfectly. We are ready for the next steps. Are you willing to join us? Well, what's inside the Columbia Coffee Grinder is uh, where the huge part of the work is. Uh, we created, I believe, the best uh, coffee mill on the market for hand grinding uh, within a reasonable price range, and that's, that's the thing. Uh, what we've been doing is to make some blades that are incredibly effective. They have a huge output um, and a fairly low torque, and that's the thing with the coffee grinder, that you don't want to spend too much force and you don't want to spend too much time. What's inside is um, uh, a complete mechanism um, which contains, um, of course, an axle with bearings uh, 
On this is mounted the, the burrs that are controlled uh, very well in its actual alignment, uh, both the, what we call the cone and the crown, the inner blade and the outer blade. So regarding the setting system, we know that making a good cup of coffee depends on you being able to make the setting exactly the way you want it. So what we've done is to make a system that allows you complete freedom of where you want it. So each click on this system here regarding setting results in a 0.03 millimeter increase in distance between the cone and the crown. The grinder, the burrs, is constructed in uh, ceramics, uh, a technical industrial ceramics called uh, alumina. Uh, this material is uh, very durable and very hard, it's even harder than, than uh, steel. We are confident that we have developed the best coffee grinder technology in the world. We spent a lot of time, but actually we started more than 25 years ago. In 1994, our founder Ken Muflassen invented the first ceramic mechanism for spices. It was based on Japanese high-tech technology and many years of market product insight. The product turned out to revolutionize the market and today it's known to be market leader in its segment. Actually, many of the known brands in the business have products powered by Crossgrind spice technology. With many years of experience from our spice technology, we wanted to make a high output coffee grinder that is easy to adjust and can grind any coarseness, ranging from French press through filter, espresso, all the way to Turkish coffee. Crossgrind Colombia is our first handheld uh, coffee grinder. Uh, it's made uh, small so it can be transported easily. It would be suited for if you're going trekking or if you're going to your boat or if you're going to the park to have a, a cup of coffee. Uh, it's made with lightweight materials and a durable design. We spent three years developing this new patented technology and brought our first product to the market one year ago. The objective was to make the best manual coffee mill out there, and we succeeded. The product was well received in the market, and this is giving us the motivation to repeat the success by developing a superior handheld coffee mill with the same amazing design and functionality. We have an amazing product and we are really excited to bring it to the market. We really hope that you want to be a part of it. Hello Kickstarter, Jake here. Almost three years to the day after launching our campaign for the Duo Coffee Steve. <laughs> Fellow is back with our sophomore effort, the Stag EKG, an electric pour over kettle with barista level functionality. Our small but mighty team launched Stag as a stovetop kettle 14 months ago and it quickly became a favorite for home baristas, design lovers, and coffee pros competing in the World Brewers Cup. So, why launch the electric version of Stag? Quite simply, because you asked for it. We carried forward the two features you know and love from the stovetop Stag. First, a weight in the handle moves the center of mass closer to your hand for a more controlled pour. And second, the fluted tip allows for the finest of water streams during brewing. But you can get these features with our current kettle. We know you're here for the new stuff. After countless design iterations, we landed on a minimalist, almost unassuming base that serves as a podium to display stag. We believe the base itself should take a backseat to both stag and your kitchen. However, don't let the simplicity fool you. Stag EKG packs a professional punch. No simple on-off button here, folks. By turning the knob, you select your desired temperature and Stag does the rest. When in hold mode, Stag will maintain that temperature for 30 minutes in case you get distracted. Why are we so obsessed with temperature? Because your favorite beans deserve better than about boiling. Depending on your bean, roast, or brew method, 
you need the ability to lock in temp to brew your best cup. And hey, tea lovers, this doesn't only apply to coffee drinkers. Temperature matters for you as well. Damn it, Jake! I said brew the ah! too long at 185. We want you along for the journey. Your support will help with product development, certification, and tooling. So are you ready to brew the best cup of coffee? Um, Jake, that's really awesome and all, but don't the coolest Kickstarters have some hyperlocal social disruptive value add technology? Like, like what? Oh, I don't know. How about an app that lets you turn the kettle on and off and set the temperature? Yeah, I, I'm listening, but I, I feel like it just needs more. You should partner with those awesome folks at Akaya who make the sweet connected scale and brew bar app. The kettle should seamlessly connect to the app so it can talk to the Akaya scale and Baratza grinder and remember your favorite coffee recipe. Think about it. Wizard-like control and total mastery over water temperature, dosage, and coffee to water ratio with the push of a button, a coffee nerd or cafe owner's dream. Yeah, creepy voiceover guy. You're right. We should have two models. The Stag EKG and the Stag EKG Plus, powered by Akaya. But wait, there's more. In what we believe is a Kickstarter first, we are guaranteeing delivery in 2017. If we don't fulfill on this promise, we will include a free watermelon slicer with every order. So, do you consider yourself a patron of the arts, a supporter of innovation, and a lover of a fine cup of joe? Then support our campaign. Great coffee awaits. Hey everyone, so I'm here to show you how to use your very own Arctic cold brew coffee system. What I love about this system is that it's super simple to use, so I'm going to walk you through each of the steps to show you how to make your very own cold brew right at home. The first step is to take 10 to 15 tablespoons of your favorite coarsely ground coffee and adding it to the micron filter. We've already added 10 tablespoons to our micron filter, so we just have to add 5 more. Set the micron filter aside and fill up the arctic carafe about halfway with water. You'll want to use cold or room temperature filtered or tap water. Once it's filled about halfway, place the micron filter into the carafe and then top off the rest of the arctic with water. This will ensure that the grounds are thoroughly soaked. Take a stirring stick and gently agitate the grounds to ensure that your grounds are thoroughly soaked. The final step is to add the lid onto the arctic and pop your arctic into the fridge. The brew time will take about 12 to 24 hours. So here's our brew fresh out of the fridge just after about 24 hours of brewing. So once you've deemed your brew complete and you've removed your arctic from the fridge, first you want to remove the lid, then you want to remove the micron filter from the carafe and dump the grounds. Once you've done that, I'm going to show you how to quickly clean your micron filter. Simply run it under warm water. To get a better result, you can also use a soft bristled cleaning brush with warm soapy water. And that's it. You can see that I've gotten rid of most of the grounds from the micron filter. The other thing you can do with your micron filter is you can pop it in the dishwasher and it's top shelf dishwasher safe. So, getting back to the Arctic, the last thing you want to do is pour your coffee right into your favorite mug. Now, for the remaining cold brew that you're not drinking, simply pop on the lid and put the Arctic right back in the fridge where it's going to stay fresh for up to two weeks. And that's all there is to it. 
One of the other things that I love about the Arctic system is it allows you to experiment with different variables like the grind level, the coffee to water ratio, and the brew time to find that perfect brew that's right for you. I can't wait for you to try your very own Arctic cold brew coffee system at home. Cheers.